Hello, this is Cedric with Cypress Learning Solutions. Today I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to import leads into Salesforce. The first step into importing leads into Salesforce is to ensure that our data set that we're working with has a standard format. Right? So first things we have are first name, last name, title, company, account, uh, email, street address, state, and zip code. These are all standard fields within Salesforce, um, and some of these may be necessary due to your um, lead assignment rules uh, that may assist in assigning these particular leads to a specific person within the system. Okay, so this data set has been saved. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is open up our sales app within Salesforce and scroll to the leads tab. And under the leads tab, there's an import button. Uh, we're gonna select import. Once we select import, it's gonna open the data import wizard, which allows us to update or add records, um, more than 50,000 records at a particular time. All right, so we're gonna select standard objects, select leads, and then we're gonna add and update existing records. There are a few actions that we may need to take. Um, we wanna match the leads obviously by email address, since that's uh, in our data set, we have emails of um, leads, and we want to ensure that the leads are being matched to leads that are already existing within the system. We're also gonna want to make sure we add a lead source. And this is very important because um, later down the road, we want to know exactly where the leads come from, especially once we import them. So we have a few options here. For the sake of this particular um, case, I'm gonna use phone inquiry. Okay, and then we're gonna assign all leads using uh, an assignment rule. So if you have any assignment rules set up within the system, you can use that or we want to use assignment rule settings to send email notifications. All right, now we're going to select our CSV file. So we're going to choose a file. In my case, I have it here on my desktop. I'm going to open it, select next. All right, now we want to map our fields. Um, because my, my CSV file has fields that match Salesforce already, um, Salesforce will match based on the fields that I, that I have um, on my CSV file. However, there are gonna be times where you would have to manually map your fields. Um, so you could simply do that by finding the field that corresponds with your CSV file um, and map mapping it accordingly. So we're gonna do zip and postal code and then map. The next step we're gonna hit is next. And then we're gonna start our import. Okay. All right, and so here it shows that 22 records were processed, and this is how you would import leads into Salesforce. 